that response that you have. I saw right Judge Kavanaugh. Could you give us some thoughts, sir? I think he's a, just a wonderful human being. I mean, I, I think it's horrible what the Democrats have done. It's a con game they're playing. They're con. They're really con artists. They're, they're trying to convince. You know, they don't believe. They don't believe it themselves. Okay, they know he's a high quality person. They don't believe him. It's just resist and obstruct. They're playing a con game, and they play it very well. They play it actually much better than the Republicans. They're lousy politicians, and they have lousy policy. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They want to get rid of ICE. They want to get rid of uh, law enforcement. They don't want to take care of our military. They want to raise your taxes. But they're good at one thing. They're good at one thing. That's obstruction and resisting and con. He's one of the highest quality people. You know, when he said that really what he was focused on was trying to be number one in his class at Yale, to me, that was so believable. I understand college very well, and I understand being number one in your class, and I understand a lot of things. When he said that, I understood exactly what he was so truthful. And I think it came out. I mean, I hope it came out. But for the Democrats to be trying to make him into something, number one, let's be nice about it, that he's not. He's a high-quality person. He's a great intellect. You're also not seeing him on his footing. This isn't his footing. He's never been here before. He's never had any charges like this. I mean, charges come up from 36 years ago that are totally unsubstantiated. I mean, you, as, as watching this, as the president of, of a great country, Columbia, you must say, how is this possible? 36 years ago, nobody ever knew about it, nobody ever heard about it, and now a new charge comes up and she said, well, it might not be him, and there were gaps, and she said she was totally inebriated, and she was all messed up, and she doesn't know it was him, but it might have been him. Oh, gee, let's not make him a Supreme Court judge because of that. This is a con game being played by the Democrats. Also, take a look at the lawyers. These lawyers are the same lawyers that have been fighting for years. They keep fighting. Take a look at the lawyers. And it's a shame that you can do this to a person's life. And I'll tell you, maybe even more important, who's going to want to go before this system to be a Supreme Court judge or to be a judge or to be even a politician? I can tell you that false accusation and false accusations of, of all types are made against a lot of people. This is a high-quality person, and I certainly hope I certainly, it would be a horrible insult to our country if this doesn't happen. And, and it'll be a horrible, horrible thing for future political people, judges, anything you want. It'll be a horrible thing. It, 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 cannot, it cannot be allowed to happen. And the, Dem, the Democrats are playing a con game, C-O-N, a con game. Is there anything? It's a shame. Is there and they know it's a con game. They know he's high quality. And they wink at each other. They're winking. They know it's a con game. Go ahead. Should the second accuser be allowed to testify on Thursday? Would you welcome that? Well, I look at the second accuser. The second accuser has nothing. The second accuser doesn't even know. She thinks maybe it could have been him, maybe not. She admits that she was drunk. She admits time lapses. There were time lapses. This is a, a person, and this is a, a series of... of uh, statements that's going to take one of the most talented, one of the greatest intellects from a judicial standpoint in our country, going to keep him off the United States Supreme Court. You know, I said something this morning. He has a chance to be one of the greatest justices ever in the United States Supreme Court. What a shame. And what a shame it is for so many other people Whose world that isn't? That's not his world, and it's not their world. These are legitimate people. They're not in the world of con, and the world of obstruct, and the world of resist. He never thought this was even a possibility. He's startled. He can't believe this is happening. His wife is devastated. His children are devastated. I don't mean they're like, oh, gee, I'm a little unhappy. They're devastated. And it's because these Democrats, and they know, they know. When I see Schumer, who never even saw this woman, I believe her 100%.
and I see these other senators that I deal with on a daily basis. I know them better than they know themselves. It's just a game for them. But it's a very dangerous game for our country. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank